come to Kansas City. <laughs> this is 11 day trip ideas. I could name off all day things like Worlds of Fun or the zoo or most museums, but this video covers more attractions and sights to see on a day trip. The very last place was by far my favorite stop and actually the reason we drove up here. Stay tuned. We'll start with must see number one, Union Station. Welcome to Union Station. Nearly 2 million people visit the station every year. There's tons to do inside, excluding just wandering around and admiring the beautiful ceiling and intricate designs, as well as an 1,100 pound clock. Quick fun facts about this place is that it opened to the public in 1914 and railway use peaked during World War I, with Union Station witnessing arrivals and departures of more than 79,000 trains. Inside, you can find two full-service restaurants, coffee shops, the Science Center, which is 100,000 square feet of science fun, oh, and this model train exhibit, which was an adventure on its own. And, plus waving at ourselves in the reflective neighboring building, fun fun. Oh man, I'm, I have two hands. But I am skipping the model train area for now and coming back to it later in the video because, wait, there's more to see in Union Station as well as other things in Kansas City. There's also a planetarium in Union Station, a theater with a huge 80 by 53 foot screen, a post office, a player piano out of tune. But although it's free to get into Union Station, Union Station is uh, not free because you have to pay for parking. Okay, that's a taxi stand. The other side says pay for parking. Now we're gonna try to catch. Now we're gonna catch the street. <laughs> the street car. Now we're gonna catch the street car. Right next to Union Station is a stop to ride the KC streetcar. The driver told us it's about 30 minutes round trip, but we only went so far, then decided to walk back because we had a time limit. So rainy, take the bus. Sunny, you can walk some streets. Now we're on Main Street, and now we're off of Main Street. If you feel comfortable with big cities, because I would definitely call Kansas City a little, a little sketchy. <laughs> Some parts of Kansas City isn't for people ignoring their surroundings. But if you're used to big cities, then maybe you'll be fine. Always better to be safe. Number three, staying in this downtown area is the National World War I Museum and Memorial across the street from Union Station. You can even go to the top of the memorial and see a view of the Kansas City skyline, a picturesque stop for sure. I didn't go inside the museum, but there's a glass floored bridge over a field of 9,000 red poppies, with each one representing 1,000 military deaths and setting the tone for a reverent glimpse into American history. The building holds some 100,000 objects, documents, and materials from World War I, more than anywhere else in the world. As we were driving, we saw some monument statues. Statues! And we decided to go look at it, and there's a cool view of Kansas City, too. So, here we go. We'll call this stop number 3.5 because while you're here, go look at some statues. Parks are always nice and here it's filled with statues to admire too. Number 4. Kansas City is also called the City of Fountains, so of course a must see is the Fountains. The City of Fountains Foundation has registered 200 fountains in the metropolitan area. This tally does not include the numerous fountains at corporations and subdivision entrances, offices, and homes. They say that only Rome has more fountains than Kansas City. Next door to the World War I Museum is the Federal Reserve, which is a billion dollar experience. Okay, no more corny jokes, but this stop is free and is a quick interactive museum where you can lift a giant gold bar, see a 450 piece coin collection, and go home with a bag of shredded money. The free tickets you must get one day in advance, and you have to go through airport style security because it is a Federal Reserve Bank. Number six, the Power and Light District. A great place to drive around, pick a restaurant, go shopping, and just explore the eight block entertainment hub. Number seven, a quick free downtown stop is the City Hall Observation Deck. This is a great view of the Kansas City skyline, so why not stop, you know? And speaking of quick views, number eight is the Kansas City Public Library. With what some say is the world's largest bookshelf, the books are 25 feet high by 9 feet wide. Number 9. If you're ready to sit for a while, catch a sports game of your choice. The Kauffman Stadium for the Royals, Arrowhead Stadium for the Chiefs, there's also Sporting Kansas City Soccer Club, and T-Mobile Stadium, so take your pick. Number 10. For your shopping needs, your all-in-one stop is the Country Club Plaza. The 15 square block commercial district was designed using Spanish architecture, down to the red clay roofs and intricate ironwork. Lots and lots and lots of stores and lots and lots and lots of food. 
And speaking of food, you must try Kansas City style barbecue. They say Gates Barbecue and Arthur Bryant's Barbecue are some of the best. The debate over which is better goes back decades, but they say both restaurants' roots can be traced back to a single man, Henry Perry, commonly referred to as the father of Kansas City Barbecue. I told you we'd make it back to that model train set, and here we are. It was dark in there, honestly, and the train sets were cool, but not my favorite. Now, there's probably someone watching this who is a model train set fan and thinks this is great. So I'm sorry for saying this isn't the best, but it's neat, but just not my favorite. Maybe better lighting would help. If you like model trains, come here. If you don't, it's not so good. It's kind of dark too. As we wave goodbye to Kansas City, and I say thanks for watching, safe travels to Kansas City, and I hope you enjoy your time there, please subscribe for more videos like this and some funny videos as well. I'll leave this video with some highlights from the reason we came to Kansas City today. It's a concert. The Grey Havens, my favorite band. So this is the reason I came. Blue flower tour. See you all in the next video. Bye guys.